Okay, so we've been creating items in Trinity Core using the uh, Trinity Creator, and then we added spell procs and then all that fun stuff onto things. So, but if you want a leveling item, um, you don't want to run crazy stat things just because it makes it way, way too easy. So, um, yeah, it's fun just running around and smacking things in the head and killing them, but... Um, yeah, doing a thousand damage on a level 10 is ridiculous. So what we have here is this crazy item, right? Um, yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. Um, so we're going to change this to be um, a scaling heirloom type item. Um, now, the uh, spell effects, the heals, the chain lightning that sort of thing they we're not going to take those off but the um the damage and the stats um the hit rating and that sort of thing we're going to go ahead and change so um let me just heal up here oh maybe not is this rank one? Oh, that's rank three that's not much heal um okay so we're going to go ahead and change this sword to be an, an heirloom type item so just uh, put that. And the first thing we're going to do, just to make sure I don't forget to do it, is delete the cache. Okay, so the cache is out. And what we need to do is we need to find our item. So I have my leveling sword here. Okay. And we want to look for scaling stats. It usually, well, it always is right after your stats. Okay, right here. Whoops. We want to sort it by entry. It's before your spells, your resistances, and it's before your damage. Okay. So what we want to do, uh, first things first, we want to see what level or what damage you want to do at level 80. Um, level 80, we're going to do more damage because we're going to be running raids and that sort of thing, and it's going to be a little rough um, with just a normal. But we're not going to make it to 1,200 and uh, 1,500 in that one sword that we made crazy. So we're going to go ahead and make it, um, let's see, 200. Let's make it uh, 300. Yeah, 300 to 500. I think the, the highest damage is, uh, uh, I think it's 400 or 500. But we also have the speed set crazy high too, or crazy low. Uh, 0.5. So we don't want to make it, you know, we'll go ahead and change it to 400. I'm not sure how well to do at 80. Once you get to 80, um, you want to upgrade anyway. I'm going to change that Archangel Blade um, to reduce the damage some on that as well. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. So we got the leveling sword. We're going to make it sc the stat scale with level. So, uh, we're... I forgot where it's at. After stat values, we got the scaling distribu distribution. Um, now, what I did to find these is I actually searched the one sword in the database, and I found its stats scaling to be 3 and 516. That seems to work pretty good, so I'm going to stick with that. And that's what I did for these trinkets as well. 3 and 516. Oops. And then we want to change the damage. Um, as we see here, damage min and damage max is 1 and 0. But that's still a little bit too low for leveling, so we're going to go ahead and change that to uh, 3. Does it make out much difference? I don't know. I had to set the one before. So let's see what it does. Okay, so that's all we need to do in the database itself. So we'll just uh, minimize that. Uh, stop the world server. And for some reason, I've been having to stop the uh, auth server too. So we're just going to go ahead and start those. And I cleared my cache. So we're good there. So we just need to wait for the uh, the world server to open up here. No, you can ignore this here. I was working with other items, playing around. Oh, 
this part's kind of fun, but um, if you're making these, you know, crazy good weapons and gear and stuff, it makes the game way too easy. I mean, way, way, way too easy. We need a little bit of challenge at least. Okay, so that started. Let's open it up and see if it actually worked. And we have scaling stats. And it, uh, yeah, it didn't look like it changed the damage all that much. But it doesn't change the spell effects on it. Um, kind of like uh, Shadow Fang, it doesn't change the damage on the, 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 uh, is it Shadow Bolt that it sends? So it's always the same. But on this one, since it's a leveling one, I want to try to stay alive. Um, so I, Definitely leaving the instant heal and the uh, mark of blood. The blood worms don't be, seem to be doing anything because I don't. I think it's because I don't have the uh, blood presence. I I don't know. I thought about adding that on to one of them as well. And I did take another one off. I don't remember which one it was, just because it was just too crazy. Um, and the AOE one, I'm probably gonna take off since I have uh, consecration now. It, yeah, so I don't really need it. But uh, we'll just go out to, we'll go to Westfall and find something to smack on here. Okay, that's a level 11. That's probably, of course, first hit, I get the proc. Um, see, so instead of one hit, uh, it takes quite a bit more. So, uh, yeah, I mean, my HP is still crazy high, but um, at least it gives a little bit more challenge on killing things. Um, I did the same thing for my gift bags. I'm probably going to take the stats off of those just because they're just bags, you know, and I did the same thing for the trinkets. Um, and I'm I think I'm going to take lower the stats on those as well, but leave the hit and uh, attack power and experience gain. Uh, yeah, so that's that. It's really easy to do. Um, there's a reference. Uh, let's see if I can bring it up here. Somebody uh, on AC Web made a, made a, excuse me, a list here on, on how to do things. Um, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I haven't figured out the whole math on it yet, but, uh, seems to work. Seems to work pretty well. So yeah, that's it. Um, just go to AC web and, and search for, uh, scaling stats and you'll find it. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I need another minute or so to get this to 10 minutes because YouTube likes it better if it's 10 minutes long. So we're just going to, well, we're going to mine this here after I kill this bird. Blood, uh, blood worms. And we're going to go back to uh, Stormwind. Recall. I'm going to do uh, a video on some of the commands tonight if uh, time permits. Um, I didn't want to sell that. And we're just going to go ahead and do uh, uh, Rage Fire, since it's the easiest one. See, with Solo Craft, a lot of this is still one hits. And so we're going to need to change. Why can't I hit that? Attack this one instead. Too far away. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna change the, uh, the scaling stats in solo craft. Um, because look at this. Even with this scaled down weapon, they only have 
186 hit points, but I'm doing 100, well, sometimes 100 damage. Just grab them all up here. And as you can see, my run speed is up because of that config change I made. It's such a handy thing. I think I got it set to three now. I'm going to change it down to two because sometimes it gets hard to walk into doors. Whoops. And we'll just gather all these up. Come here. quick. I figured it would take a little bit longer than that. And we'll gather these up. It says there's four bosses in Rage Fire. I've only ever seen two, so I'm going to have to track down where the other ones are. Oh. See how easy that was? I need to make it harder. Because I'm mostly just using my auto attack. Apparently I need more hit. Well, that is the nice thing about bloodworms, as they pull thread, apparently. I don't want to gather these guys up. And that's that. Um... So yeah, the last thing I need to do is change the, the uh, solo craft so it makes it a little bit harder to do the dungeons. Um, but other than that, I think I'm at a decent place um, to make the game not too hard. Still have a really strong character with uh, just you know my custom equipment, but. Um, still doable so i don't have to mess around too much so yeah that's that um all done uh adding scaling stats is pretty easy um not much to it just change the database delete your cache restart your um server and you're done all right um so yeah normal like share subscribe do all that fun stuff if you have any questions post them i most likely do not have the answer but um, I might be able to point you in the right direction. All right, have a good night.